Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix a Windows boot loop in Windows 10 or 11. But before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Perform the startup repair For this, if your computer is in the preparing automatic repair loop, forcefully shut it down by holding the power button, then turn it back on. As Windows 11 or 10 starts to load, interrupt the boot sequence by pressing the power button again while the Windows logo is displayed. Do this 3 times in a row to trigger the Windows recovery environment. After that, in the advanced startup option, select troubleshoot. Then under troubleshoot, click on advanced options. Number 2. Use safe mode. For this, press Windows plus I key to open the Windows settings. Then, choose system option from the left hand side menu. Then, head over to the recovery option on the right hand side of the window. After that, click on the restart now button associated with the advanced startup. Then, hit restart now again. After that, head over to troubleshoot and select advanced option in the next window. Then, choose startup settings and then click on restart. In the following window, press 4 to launch safe mode. Once the PC boots into safe mode successfully, try check the problem is fixed or not. Number 3. Run automatic repair. For this, insert a Windows 11 or 10 installation media such as a bootable USB drive and restart a computer. Then boot from the installation media. After that, select the language preference and click next. After that, click repair your computer in the bottom left corner. After that, in advanced options menu, select troubleshoot. Then choose advanced option and then click on automatic repair. Number 4. Perform system restore. For this, type create a restore point in the Windows search bar. After that, click on system restore under the system protection tab. After that, it will automatically prompt you to select a certain date and open the restoring window. Note, if you previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, a computer will display a recommended date for restoration. Then click finish to complete the process. Note, the finishing time is a few minutes. When finished, your computer will automatically reboot. Number 5. Prepare corrupt system file. For this, search for command prompt, right click the top result and select the run as administrator option. After that, from there, type the following commands to perform a quick fix on your PC. The command is sfc slash scan now. Then be patient and wait till the scanning is complete. Number 6. Check and repair disk errors. For this, again open the command prompt in the administrator option. After that, from there, type chkdsk slash f c and press enter. Make sure to replace c with the letter of the drive you want to check if it's not a system drive. After that, press y when prompted to schedule the disk check on the next restart. Then after that, just simply restart your PC. Number 7. Scan for virus. For this, type Windows Security in the Windows search bar. After that, in the Windows Security window, click on Wires and Threat Protection. Then, under Current Threads, click on Quick Scan to perform basic scan. But for a more comprehensive scan, you can also choose Full Scan. If any threats are detected, Windows Defender will provide options to remove or quarantine them. Number 8. Check for Windows Update. For this, press Windows plus I key together to open the Windows settings. After that, click on Update and Security. Then, in the Update and Security window, click on Windows Update in the left hand side menu. Then, from there, click on Check for Updates and let Windows search for any available updates and will automatically install them. After the updates are installed, restart the computer and check if the function is working correctly or not. Number 9. Reset your windows. For this, press Windows plus I key again to open the settings app. After that, click system from the left hand side menu and scroll down and select the recovery option. Then under recovery option, click on reset PC. Then from there, choose from keep my files and remove everything. Then follow the guidelines on the screen to complete the resetting process. Number 10. Update your BIOS. For this, visit your motherboard manufacturer's website and download the latest BIOS slash UEFI update for a specific model. After that, follow the manufacturer's instruction to update your BIOS slash UEFI. But be cautious during this process as incorrect updates can potentially damage your motherboard. Number 11. Disable unnecessary startup application. For this, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open a task manager. After that, go to the startup tab. And from there, disable any third-party software that you suspect might be causing conflicts with this issue. And just simply restart your computer. 